Back in Unity 3D, let's see how we can create materials and shaders within Unity. Now at this time, it's a good time to open up the files that come with this course and open up the Create folder. In the Create folder, you will find two files. One of them is called Create Metal and the other one is Create Metal N. We'll need both of these, but first in Unity, let's look at a materials folder that we've created and then in this create another folder and call it create okay now that we have that let's open up our finder or for Windows our Explorer and drop these two inside of the create folder unity will now import these two and this might take a second and done I can close my finder now and as you can see they are both imported and we have a bunch of options that we can use to change things around. Now the defaults are pretty fine most of the time and I don't find myself using these a lot. Although I'll show you a couple in a second. Okay now as for our crate we already have the prefab but as you can see it's looking a little dull. So we need to create something to throw on top of this prefab. Now as you might notice you cannot just drop the texture on top of this prefab, it just won't work because we need to make a material first. So let's right click the create folder and then create and then click material. Let's call this material create metal. Okay. Now as you can see our metal is currently empty, there's nothing in here, but there's an empty slot where we can drop a texture on. So let's create the create metal and drop it right on top of it and as you can see now we have a ball shaped metal crate. Now we don't really want to see how this looks on a ball so click this little icon right here and it changes into a cube and this is what our crate would look like. Now it is great and it works but it is still looking a bit, little bit dull. I mean this is graphics from a couple of years ago it doesn't look very extremely exciting. So what we can do is change our shader into something that reflects lights off of the grooves into the texture. To do this, it's really easy in Unity 3D. Just in your material, click the shader drop down and it gives us a whole host of options of shaders that we can use. Now, by default we have a diffuse shader and diffuse basically means it only has a texture map or a color map. There's nothing else applied to it. However, for example, a diffuse detail will add a detail map, or a diffuse fast will add a fast map. Now in this case we want a bumped diffuse because we want to add a bump map. As soon as I click that you notice there is now two slots available. Now look at this texture here, the Crate Metal N. It has a weird bluish color and you remember that from the last video where I showed you what a normal map looked like. Let's go back into our material and drag this one right on top of the bump map. Now, as you can see, our crate looks a lot more interesting. If you're not convinced, let me show you this in the 3D view. Let's drag the crate in here, and right now the crate is still empty and nothing much is going on. So let's drop our material right on top of it. And boom, now it really looks like a crate. Now when I add a light source or change this light to be pretty close to the crate, see what happens. Let me see exactly how close I am by clicking the Y view and moving the light a little closer. Okay, that will work. Now when I'm moving my light around, you can see that the light is reflected off of the texture instead of only off of a flat cube. So this gives the illusion that the crate is actually 3D even though there is nothing, no material or vertices in place to for example create these shades here. Everything is done simply by the normal texture. That is all that's happened. As you can see, you can do pretty advanced stuff with this. Now let's go back into our Create Prefab 
And as you can see, there's no material assigned to our prefab that is created in script. And we can change this by dragging the material right on top of the material slot. Now, to do that, hover over the materials in the mesh renderer and just drop it on instead of the default diffuse. Now, as you can see, the materials is added and it really looks like a crate now. We can select the crate in 3D view and get rid of this one. Now when we play our game and use the left control, we will actually shoot real crates. Now of course you can also use the crates in your level design instead of only shooting them around and placing them near little fires or things like that will really emphasize the bump map that is attached to it. Very cool.